Greetings and salutations. I know I have a silly grin on my face, but that's because I know today is going to be a good day as I'm going to test ride one of the most fun naked middleweight bikes out in the market today. And it's probably made right here in the Philippines. It's time to go beyond the ride with the KTM 790 Duke. The bike is powered by KTM's LC8C Parallel Twin Liquid Cooled Double Overhead Cam 8 Valve 4 Stroke Engine with 799 cc's. It punches out 105 horsepower at 9,000 RPM and 87 Nm of torque at 8,000 RPM. That's a lot of power for a bike that has a dry weight of 169 kilograms. Nice. The suspension is a WP cartridge upside down fork that unfortunately you cannot adjust. However, the WP monoshock in the rear is equipped with a spring preload adjuster. Stopping power is provided by two 300 millimeter discs up front and a single 240 millimeter disc at the rear with two channel ABS. The fuel tank capacity is 14 liters, which is pretty standard for a middleweight naked bike. And KTM claims that you can go 30 kilometers per liter. The bike has KTM's distinct TFT display, which gives you all the necessary information, including the different riding modes. You got sport for more aggressive riding, street for comfortable urban riding, rain for, well, wet conditions, and wal wal, AKA track for, you guessed it, the track. Some other tech the bike comes with are different lean angle sensitive traction control settings, cornering ABS, anti-wheelie, motor slip regulation technology, and my ever favorite, the up and down quick shifter. I, now, I know that KTM is all about the orange and the Street Fighter look, and my preference of styling is the more classic and the neo retro, but I appreciate the aggressiveness. And just by looking at it, you know it's ready to race. The seat height is 825 millimeters. I am five foot six, the average height of a male Filipino. And I am tippy toeing just a little bit, but it's not a problem whatsoever. Kako would probably have issues. Let's do a sound test. That's KTM's first ever parallel twin. They got it right. So I'm gonna be heading out after having some breakfast and coffee here at Gourmet Farms. Now, what I can say right away is that the seating position is a little aggressive with the foot pegs a little behind you. Similar to the little sibling 390 Duke. But at this position, I feel like I'm more in control of the bike. I can flick it easily and can attack corners with more confidence. Now, riding in the city is not too bad. I can lane filter pretty easily, partly due to how nimble the bike is. However, in traffic, I did feel the heat from the engine a little bit. Plus the bike is a little stiff, so you will feel the bumps on the road a little bit. I would have wanted to adjust the front fork and maybe have a little more padding on the seat. I know, I know, I'm sounding a little bit too much like a Tito, but whatever, I wanna be a little bit more comfortable. The handling of this bike is just really, really good. And I wish we had more twisties to play around it. The balance of the bike is just right. And a slightly longer wheelbase does help keep it stable while at speed on the expressway. The 790 Duke is definitely not for beginners. You could get yourself in trouble on this bike. You need a few years experience or just a lot of miles under your belt 
to be able to tame this motorcycle. If you are just starting out, look into the 390 Duke. That is a little bit more manageable. KTM's made some noise in the Philippine market with their smaller motorbikes, and the big boys will always have their loyal fan base. The middleweight category? Well, that's where the battle royale with the other manufacturers take place. And KTM is going to war with an excellent lineup. You have the 790 Adventure Standard, the 790 Adventure R, and this, the Scalpel. Although it's more like a battle axe. And they're proudly made right here in the Philippines. You can get the KTM 790 Duke for 599,000 Philippine pesos. That's over 200,000 bucks of savings from when the bike first came out. It's a great deal. And this, it's therapy on two wheels. It's just tons of fun. For more information about this bike and other great MCs out there, log on to www.motodeal.com.ph. This has been Gene Rafino. I hope you guys enjoyed going beyond the ride. Let's time to get some coffee.